In this video, we're gonna talk about Petey the turtle. We have a turtle named Petey. We've had her for about a year, and we're just kind of slowly going around our fish room here in our house and talking about our different aquatic animals and whatnot. And uh, Petey's a big part of our house. We spend a lot of time looking at Petey's right near our uh, our dinner table. So when we're having dinner, uh, Petey's right there with us, and we're chucking her out. Um, Petey's pretty cool, pretty friendly, so stay tuned and we're going to talk more about Petey, uh, Mississippi map turtles and how to take care of them. Probably one of the biggest questions we get is, what do you feed map turtles? Mississippi map turtles eat a lot of vegetarian stuff, but they still need some animal proteins in their diet as well, whether it be fish or insects or whatnot. So a good balanced uh, reptile diet uh, made just for turtles comes in stick form or pellet form. Uh, you can feed that. We also feed Petey. Uh, fresh fish as well. We put uh, guppies in the tank with Petey and if uh, she can catch one she can eat one and she gets the odd one. Um, another great food we use for Petey is duckweed. Um, we're gonna put up a, a little sheet here, a, a feed sheet and you can read this feed sheet and see everything that you need for your map turtle to feed it properly for a long life. So here's a short list of uh, safe fish to feed to your map turtles. Now these fish, it's not something you feed them every day, but uh, if you have a fish room in turtles and you have unwanted fish that are unsaleable, deformities, what have you, this is a good way to, um, I don't want to sound like getting rid of them, but it's getting rid of them, but it's a circle of life at the same time and you're adding nour nourishment to another one of your pets. Um, I don't see anything wrong with that and it's very good for them. So maybe once uh, every couple of weeks or three weeks you could uh, get them some fish uh, and it gives them something to do to chase these fish around. Um, I know it keeps Petey active chasing fish around. She's not very good at catching them uh, but she does get the odd one. A supplement to feed to your map turtles is cuddle bone and this is good for a lot of turtles. Uh, cuddle bone is a fish bone, the cuttlefish bone, and cuddle bone is full of calcium and turtles require a lot of calcium to have nice shells. So like this uh, says, just cut it into a quarter, throw it in and they will eat it up. Um, they have absolutely no problem chewing this stuff up and it's uh, fantastic for them. So remember to put a little bit of cuddle bone in with your map turtles once in a while. So here's another example of foods that you can feed to your turtle. Breaks it down pretty good. It seems like any high quality uh, staple pellet works. Um, lots of bugs. Snails, if you have a lot of snails in your aquariums. Uh, we know Petey loves eating the snails and we give her quite a few snails. Um, one thing that's not on this list and if you're into planted aquariums, chances are you have some duckweed in your aquariums. Petey loves eating duckweed. Um, duckweed's very good for them as well. So remember they do like lots of greens, uh, but they do like eating some animal proteins as well, whether it be bugs or uh, fish. Um, you can put a little bit of fruit in, but fruit goes bad real quick and makes a big, big mess. So that's one other thing to remember when feeding your map turtle. What's well, gonna be real messy? Cause you gotta clean that out. So here's just another example. Hope this gives you some ideas about food. Um, really, turtles will eat anything, uh, but it's uh, what to feed them to give them a, a good life in an aquarium is what counts. So if you follow this guide, even a little bit, you'll be great. So without further ado, here's Petey. Petey's a little bit nervous. She doesn't like the camera at all. Um, if it was just me standing here, she would be right up here begging for food, but she really doesn't like the camera. Petey's in a 35 gallon tank. Um, it's suggested that you have a 75 gallon tank, but as you can see, 
Petey's got a lot of room to move. Um, map turtles are a bit more, a bit more timid than radio sliders, but they are pretty inquisitive as well. There's a close up, of Petey. Petey's pretty happy. She's got a dock up there with a 50 watt heat lamp. She, we do not have a UV light, but we have a window right there she gets lots um, like I was telling you before we feed some duckweed you can see a bit of it in here she goes around and just harvests that all day biting at it and eating it gives her something to do and like I said we keep a few little guppies in here these are mainly guppies out of this tank uh, colors that we don't really want uh, we're trying to breed a specific color and uh, these ones just aren't the color we wanted, so they go live with Petey, and that's why this tank's called Petey in France. So, a lot of people ask how big they get. I don't think uh, Petey should get much bigger than she is now. Maybe a little bit. We've had her a little over a year, and she's grown a lot. She was about a quarter of that size when we first got her. And, uh, yeah, and this is how we know she's a girl. See how it's a V? at the base of her shell and at the base of her tail. She's turning, she's not being cooperative now. But with a female, it's a V in the shell and a male goes pretty much straight across. So that's how we know Petey's a girl. But she's quite comical. She's all over the place. And another thing about map turtles uh, compared to most turtles is they love water you can fill the tank up as high as you can so they can't climb out um, as long as they have a basking dock uh, she hangs out on there quite a bit uh, give them some plants to go around and whatnot and they're very happy the temperature we keep PD at is about 80 degrees Fahrenheit and we use a sponge filter rated for an 80 gallon tank uh, in here for filtration uh, water changes, we do them weekly. We do about a 60% water change a week. Um, there is a lot of a lot of waste from turtles, and uh, this is mandatory if you want to have a healthy turtle. We consider Petey pretty healthy. Uh, heck, Petey will even eat fried eggs on a sun, Sunday morning breakfast with us. You'll have a piece of fried egg yolk. So they're, they're, they eat anything. They, love to beg for food. Uh, Reptile men, that's the food we feed her. Uh, we do feed her a certain type of bearded dragon food as well. Um, only because we looked at the ingredients for it and we looked at the ingredients for turtle food and they were the same. So we give her some of this as well uh, because we have a bearded dragon as well. And she loves this stuff too, the little bugs in it and stuff. She goes crazy over it. Look, she's begging right now for food. Um, they're not the smartest turtles in the world when you're feeding them. They, uh, you can pretty much drop the sticks right on her head. Sorry, I'm trying to get the food jar open. I'm set this down. Um, pretty much drop these sticks right on her head and she doesn't always get them right away but she looks like she's ready so we'll try a couple no she's not getting it when she sees them she'll start eating them there she goes they're eager to eat we usually give her five or six sticks a day um, plus other treats as well they can just mow those right down. It's nice to have a few fish in the tank too. They clean up a lot of the mess that Petey makes when she eats. You'll see them follow her around and eat the mess. But we do feed the guppies as well. We don't starve them or nothing. So maintenance is pretty easy. Uh, like I said, a, a weekly water change of at least 50% of filter, a 50 watt uh, heat bulb, 
a UV light if you're not right near a window. And a tank big enough uh, that they can swim around in and explore a bit. Thanks for watching, Petey. Stay tuned for more videos of other fish and, and pets we have. Please hit the subscribe button and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.